AMD, I think, needs to be bought on all dips. Uh, monster, monster breakout today uh, above this 95.41. Uh, we saw 100 weeklies. We saw 105 weeklies. We saw... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Another day, more earnings, another day, another basketball game. So again, dad life calls. So after I'm done with this update, I am off to the next game. So hopefully uh, everybody had a good day. So. Let's try backtrack to yesterday, right? Very, very uh, aggressive sell-off in a lot of technology names. Uh, not surprising because of when it happened. Uh, it was actually more surprising that it happened hours prior to major earnings. And if you guys remember last night, you had a lot of really good earnings announcements coming out, or actually a lot of big ones coming out. You had Microsoft that initially sold off and then rallied. You had Google. Uh, they had a pretty impressive quarter, you know, really, really exploded. Gave back some gains, paired some off, but had a really, really solid quarter. Uh, you had AMD come out, really, really monster move, uh, broke out today. What's impressive about uh, the AMD uh, earnings call was, if you guys remember, Intel missed. Uh, Texas Instruments missed. So it, the fact that another semiconductor with the whole, um, you know, the whole chip mess, right, uh, the fact that they had a really, really good quarter really made it shine out. So when you look at Qualcomm tonight, uh, they had a pretty good quarter as well. And you can see here a nice pop here afternoon. So what, what's good for the goose is not necessarily good for the gander when it comes into the chip space. And it's going to be very, very uh, kind, of, kind of important to see what NVIDIA does. Now, I'm still waiting really patiently uh, for this kind of run back on NVIDIA shares. And so far, they've come close but not so far, right? Not so far. They haven't really confirmed yet. And I'm kind of watching this channel here uh, for the next couple of days. It's getting to that area very, very close. And as soon as it comes up there, it kind of gets pulled down as well. So maybe uh, Qualcomm in continuation of move from uh, AMD for tomorrow's session maybe gets uh, NVIDIA finally going. But the key to this session that we had, I wanted to see what happened next. If you guys remember what, you know, what my uh, thoughts were from last night, I felt like the volatility uh, that was going to happen at the open was going to be very, very aggressive. And the last thing I wanted to do was kind of guess. So I wanted to see uh, what the market had in stall just to give us an idea of what happens next. Because it would have easily had a big gap up and run after yesterday's recovery on the queues. Or we could have kind of opened up, you know, got stuffed, went lower and kind of faded the whole day back to... Uh, back to yesterday's low. And that's kind of how the day played out. You had a gap up on the queues, right? You had a gap up on the queues initially, and then they sold everything, like literally sold. They sold Shop. Uh, Shop had really good earnings, and, and that's what Lisa looked like, right? Uh, Shop had good earnings. They gapped up Shop. They traded to all the way to 1610, and then they absolutely destroyed it. Microsoft yesterday uh, had a, you know initial reaction of sell, 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 and then you had a big reversal on Microsoft, buy, buy, buy. And this morning was trading like 9180s, uh, and then they sold off Microsoft. But at the same time, a lot of names got going. Like, you know, the, uh, the Alibabas of the world grinded higher. Again, that China trade is too hard, guys. I keep on, uh, you know, getting those questions. Well, what about Alibaba? Uh, Baba? What about FUTU? What about, uh, buy? they're too hard, man. Every single... Uh, every single move in these stocks, it feels like some sort of China news on the table. Guys, stay away from these things. They're just really hard. The, the stock looks great, and then it goes down 10 points. The stock looks awful. It rallies 15. I, I think there's just much more smoother and seamless plays out there than sit there breaking your head about Alibaba. Just look at the stock over the last couple of weeks, right? And had this major run up on the 22nd, and then it gaps down, and then it gaps down, only to spike up, to gap down. To gap down, and, to, and then all of a sudden we have this monster ten dollar rally today. So these things are are too unpredictable. They're too hard. Again, guys, we're not looking for the sexy play. I, I I don't want the exciting play. I don't want the play that's going to make my heart you know just just beat three thousand times a second. We don't want that. We want boring. We want lethargic. We want channels. 
to confirm they're going to be there uh, with discretionary money flow coming in, especially on the options market. When you get a name like this, your guess is as good as mine what's going to happen tomorrow. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? I have no idea. So I'm kind of staying away from these things. I don't want any exposure. You're literally uh, on, you know, you're literally one headline away from going uh, the wrong di direction in your, in your uh, position. And again, guys, we want the clearest path uh, to the end zone. Um, tomorrow you have Amazon, right? You have Amazon coming out tomorrow. Uh, look, does anybody think that Amazon is going to have a horrible quarter? Probably not, right? If you're like me, you're ordering the most random crap in the world on a weekly basis. It could be toothpaste, right? Nobody's looking uh, on a weekly purchases of, of yachts, okay? Toothpaste, toilet paper. If you're like me, you're using, you know, you've been using Amazon nonstop, three, four times a week deliveries, toilet paper, loose leaf paper, pens, anything in sight. So I don't think anybody is going to turn around and say, well, Amazon's going to miss their quarter, right? The question is, how is the market going to react to Amazon? If you look at Facebook tonight, you know, you had, you had Snap that had great earnings. You had Twitter that had great earnings. You had uh, Google that had great earnings. And you turn around and say, wow, 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 wow. This customer acquisition clicked, blah, 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 blah. Everything's going to be great. Yada, yada, yada. And, you know, next thing you know, Facebook tanks. Uh, after the close. But so don't think for a second that how good a company is is going to be translated into their earnings report. We just don't know. It's a crapshoot. Uh, you know, gun to my head 10 years from now is Amazon higher than where it is now? Yeah, I think so, right? But it, again, that's the whole point. We, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We know the company's great. We know they make a lot of money. They know they're taking over the universe, yada, yada, yada. The stock could be down 5% tomorrow. We don't know. Or the stock could be up 5% tomorrow. So again, we're trying to stay away. But what, what we are seeing, though, is the continuation of a really good market structure. Again, the names that are moving higher, we want to stay away from three, four, five, eight days in a row. Again, constant reminder, guys, any pull on the, the tape, those are the names that get pulled first. What we want to continue to move on or continue to uh, concentrate on are names that are coming out of channels. And before I go to the game, uh, obviously, again, I am bullish into tomorrow. Uh, there's no reason not to be bullish. Again, cautious, always cautious, right? I, 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 I'm always not, I'm never naive to think at any given point they can't pull the market because again, we've seen it happen time and time again. But again, I want to concentrate on the right side of the market with momentum, with order flow, um, with uh, speculation money. And right now that's on the bullish side of the market. Um, you know, I, I think the real market will start outside of earnings season. So I think the next week and a half, two weeks, when everybody reports and we kind of digest the overall uh, grade for the earnings season technology, I think that's when you can turn around and say, well, let me give, let me give a kind of a more thought uh, to what's going to happen on a later uh, move. And again, you still have Amazon uh, tomorrow. Uh, you have Tulo tomorrow. Uh, we're still waiting for at some point next week, you got Square, uh, you got Roku, so you still got plenty of names, right? Boeing came out with a really, uh, at least a look like a, le a really good quarter, had, you know, had to move all the way to the 50-day moving average. So there's a, still a lot of names that are doing very, very well. Uh, it does appear that COVID uh, is still being discounted on a lot of these earnings. They're almost kind of getting a mulligan. They continue to get a mulligan uh, into like the second has the second wave of COVID or with this whole Delta, you know, Delta scenario. So I think the market overall is healthy. Uh, I think the market overall has really good structure, but I also do believe that anything is overextended. You kind of want to brush aside. So let me give you guys some ideas before I, I have to go. Um, I have to go before tomorrow, uh, before another Another, oh, what the hell did I have today? I think I have basketball today. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas for names uh, that I do like uh, going into tomorrow. Let me give you some ideas. AMD, I think, needs to be bought on all dips. Uh, monster, monster breakout today uh, above this 95.41. Uh, we saw 100 weeklies. We saw 105 weeklies. We saw extending going to next week bets. Pretty good and aggressive option flow. What you want to see, ideally, 
uh, is a weak open into rising support. Shorts get trapped under that rising support and potentially go uh, red to green in a day. Does it automatically mean it's going to have a day to run? No, that doesn't automatically mean it could actually rest tomorrow. But the pure play, the value play for AMD tomorrow is a trap on rising support, possibly going red to green and getting trying to get a move uh, to test today's uh, channel. Um, I kind of like, you know, I, I kind of like this FUBU, FUBU, FOBO, whatever the hell it's called, right? Looks pretty good. Again, for all you guys who are trading non-beta, uh, the top of this channel here is 28. Today's high is 27.97. I think if this thing, um, I, I think if this thing starts confirming above 28, you have room all the way to 30 uh, to the 50-day moving average. This thing looks pretty good. Um, I like letter U as well. Nice looking chart here. I believe that IBD. The reason why I was so strong today. I believe that IBD put them on their swing list. I could be wrong. Please double check. But if this thing starts confirming today's channel, why can't this thing go back to the 50-day moving average into the supply right here? It looks pretty good uh, as well. Uh, MRNA continues to be just an absolute monster. Uh, watch this 60-minute range here. If this thing confirms this whole 60-minute range, hell, you might have a shot back at 52 high. So let's keep an eye on that as well. So again, guys, hope everybody is doing well. Again, every single day, you really need to put in the research to kind of anticipate what the next day is going to be. Uh, yesterday, I anticipated a pretty aggressive wild session. I kind of wanted to, to start my day at 10 o'clock. Today, you know, I'm looking at my research. I see a lot of value for tomorrow, a lot of really good setups, stocks that are coming out of the ranges. And I think tomorrow, if we can get a nice orderly session, we should get some really good explosive moves, potentially, if these channels confirm. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Love you all. And I'll see you all tomorrow.